Okay, let's go speak to Gaia. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the year since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Hey, strangers. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... 
What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. it question about the zeniths oh whoa okay that was jarring um so if the descendants came to earth on a spaceship i guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways right yes as your encounter with them at the proving lab amply demonstrates they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. Uh, how did you track this? How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Okay, the clone. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they. they had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Okay, um... The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target. And the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. 
The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Um. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Oh, Hephaestus. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Uh, why wait to subdue Hephaestus? Given Hephaestus's importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity. Okay. Exceeding that of Hephaestus. Three. Um, the three this... subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... Irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Uh, okay, how do we trap Hephaestus? You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, 
or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Okay, um, biosphere? What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. I'm sorry if uh, there's a lot of repetition that's being said here. I'm just trying to make sure I kind of get everything that I think is important. Um, knowing you can skip through this if you wanted. At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Let's go. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located <laughs> there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Ooh. Oh, it tells me the level. It's probably this one, then. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. 
Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay, this is cool. No, I'm really liking that there's a little little base going on. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Open. I really want to find out how to get back to that room. Maybe I can't get back. I guess we'll just uh, go find them. Are you sure? Yes, I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. Need to head further west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now, and like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, 
I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Okay. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Let me just check these real quick. Uh, Trapper, these seem to be excellent. Yes, please. Quicker. Nimble crafter, craft tools and trap. Yes, I want that too. Yeah, this is all going down the trapper tree. Um, so I definitely want some of these. These were great. Uh, do some blast traps. Pad water over. I'm gonna vertical shock trap. Some health potions in too. We're good. Unknown campfire. We should probably get the campfire. In case this isn't a fast travel point. Again. You let me take a look at you, stranger. Ooh, so aggressive. There's a few of those. Does it tell me whether I can override them? Shut that machine down quick with shock ammo. They're mountable. I didn't know that. That's cool. Unlocked. Wait a minute. Can I actually do this? Oh my god. Excellent. <laughs> oh my god. This is so good. The land out here is sick with blight too. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Locked. I haven't unlocked that one yet. First, uh, billboard. Oh, I love this. This thing is stomper. Oh, my God. This this part kind of feels like days gone. I don't know. I don't know why. Not days gone. Um, stranding. I don't know where days gone came from. Then. Oh, 
Whoa, okay. What are those? Bike snout. Okay. Even faster. Oh my god. What's going on there? Getting involved. Stay back. Where's this other one? Your target practice. Oh. <laughs> Hoping this might help me in the area. Got the reputation. Oh yes. That's cool. There's one up here. Somewhere. You still got your weapons out. Why you got your weapons out? I'm not seeing anyone. I guess we're good here. What is this? Bristleback salvage. Tool neck. Where can I get onto that? I can't see its path. I'm looking. I'm close. I'm looking. There Would I need a bird? Is that why? I don't think I can do that one yet. Okay. I did a coordinate. The fuck is that thing over there? I don't like that. That scares me. Quick save. Oh, I can't see a way to climb this tonic. Not trying to, but I can come back to it now. What we want? That thing's huge. I don't think I'm ready for that. Based on how that uh, boss fight went. Mountain pass we go.
Ugh. Unknown settlement on oh, no. stronghold. Could ether be inside? It's not gonna be easy with Tanox warriors everywhere. Find a way. Merchant. I've heard of you, Outlander. You're ex uh, you can give me like ah. Floats must require supplies. I'm trying to get up, like can I, can I even climb any of this? I don't know how I should approach this because like we don't get on with these guys they want me to try Let's try. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Am I going to have to help them in order to proceed? You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lai. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaru. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that okay. one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. Sure. That's an option. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the ten. This was amazing. It's glitched. Incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as best we can. The Ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duties. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the Chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Unknown. What's you this? have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. 
But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Okay. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. It was there. Just thought if I'd I try. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. Okay. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Whoa, it's definitely a museum. What's this? It was planted there by the chief. Ask him if you're curious. It... This tell to tell. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. 
Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Route. I've sent out a call for the competition, but since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. You didn't seem keen. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Uh, you should have called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the red raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. Okay. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. Okay. You Chamber said you there. saw what's in the basement? I did, on the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor. Or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. What the did the ones? Old Ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne, you went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hummed with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Um, okay, I'll do what you want, that. and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised. 
if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. I didn't want to watch the visions because they were just really boring and annoying. Um, because it was so broken up, but you get the idea. We're now gonna head to Decca. speak okay a lot of speak in this episode i'm sorry a weapon to aid your mission you'll need it for the long road to stonecrest many machines prowl along the way and our scouts have sighted regala's rebels in the area machines and rebels nothing i haven't faced before indeed head north towards the foothills ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Okay. Stop sheep, boys. Guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. I'll go faster if I ride a machine. Buddy, are you okay? Are you just like shedding? What's going on? <laughs> 